New tonight, rebuilding after a fire destroyed a portion of an historic church in Norwich. Now, firefighters saved most of the old Taffville Congregational Church after it was nearly gutted over the weekend. Now, community members are coming together to offer their support. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has the story on how the congregation is ready to rise from the ashes. I saw like a dream is disappearing in, my, in front of my eyes. Around 10 p.m. Saturday night, St. Mary and St. Moses Coptic Orthodox Church bursted into flames, lighting up the sky. Left here, went home around, arrived around 10 o'clock. 10.15, one of the neighbors who live here, he called me and he said, Father, the church on fire. It was a late night at the church for Father Thomas, who was cleaning and preparing for Sunday's service. It was a shock, a total and complete shock. I didn't know what to think other than what happened. I just left an hour ago. The 119-year-old church, formerly Taftville Congregational Church, was sold last year and just recently purchased in April, right before Easter. We've been looking for a church for years. And finally, after we get the church and all of a sudden, it's gone. With areas of smoke and water damage, only about 20% of the church was damaged by the fire. A service held Wednesday with community members and local congregations sharing their support in this time of need. We, we gather as, as people of faith to support one another. I feel I'm not alone. I thank the God, I thank the Lord that there are so many people to support me. And I'm sure with this support, we will rebuild the church again. And former church pastor, Reverend Jack Shackles, taking it all in, as this church was his life for 15 years. We believe the church is the people, not the building. Many things throughout the year have risen from the ashes, and I think they can do it here, too. There is a GoFundMe that has already raised over $70,000 for the church. We have a link to that GoFundMe over on WFSB.com. In Taftville, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3. Eyewitness News.